What is up y'all? It's your girl Snake. What's poppin'? Um, so right now it's quarantine day 14. Woohoo! Last day of my quarantining. But I'm still gonna be here for a minute at home. So might as well just take the time to do some crafts and maybe get my chakras aligned so that I go back to college being all perfect and but I'm just kidding. <laughs> LOL. I am doing a art project. I came up with the idea of painting a denim jacket. And um, I already have a denim jacket that got this one like a year or two ago from Forever 21. It was like 20 bucks or something. I, I don't know. It was like fairly cheap. I've been wanting to do this for a minute and now I have the time and energy. So let's get started. I already kind of outlined a little rectangle um, and I'm going to start by painting white, um, a white layer, like a layer or two of white so that um, has like a base so that I can like paint on top of it like I would with a canvas. So I got some white acrylic paint. You can get this, I don't know, at any art store really. I'm going to mix this with a little bit of fabric paint too. Um, just because I don't have enough acrylic, but yeah. So while you're painting, you know, might as well pull up The Office or something you like watching on Netflix. Um, in order to do this canvas layer, it took three whole layers of this white color to get it to be that white. Yeah, so it is 1.10 a.m. I finished the box. <laughs> I look scrappy too, so I'm gonna call it a night. We're gonna see where this is gonna go tomorrow. Day two. And good morning to you guys. It is 11 30 on day two of this side project. Um, so as you can see, the box. <laughs> should have dried up overnight um and i should be ready to start outlining the design on top of this like base color so let's get started so for the design i wanted to choose this collage um piece that i saw on this instagram artist's page they go by psychologist it's super cool they have a really awesome artwork um and it's very Indian American, this very like hybrid cultured art and all that. It's really cool. Um, and I'm just honestly winging it with the whole outlining right now. Yo, so I just finished the outlines for this whole um i don't know if you could see it the um painting i guess whatever um and now i'm gonna start uh actually uh color matching i kind of color matched for the skin tone um and now i'm just gonna start painting and just see where i go instead of making a realistic skin tone like the original collage image i decided to use this photo as a reference this is a picture made by maria kumar she is another amazing south asian artist you should check out their insta handle uh they go by hate copy anyways i use a mix of browns yellows and pinks to create the right skin tone for the brown shade okay so i don't know how like in what order i should do the top part like if i should work on like that girl's hair or the eyes or like the leaves or shading on the skin so i'm just gonna start with a different part and just start from the, from the bottom half <laughs> we'll see how this goes why did i commit to this y'all why 
I I don't know about that Daisy girl, but this Daisy girl needs a bunda break. Girl is tired. It is 5:53 p.m. and I am barely halfway done with this. So it is 12:16 a.m. marks the end of day two of the side project for me, and this is where we are at so far. Looking good, actually. Um, to, uh, after a certain, I tried to record, but after a certain point, I was just getting calls, and I was like, okay, people want to talk to me, so whatever. I think I'll continue tomorrow. I still need to figure out what word to write in my home language, Tamil. Um, but once I figure that out, I think. That might take a whole day. It might take two more days to finish this, maybe. That's all I'm thinking. We'll see. Alright. Day three. I don't know why am I... Chair is just too loud, bro. Anyway. <laughs> Today is day three of my um, side project of painting my denim jacket. It is 4.30 in the afternoon, rainy day today. Um, but it's also a perfect day to stay inside and do your own thing. So that's what I'm gonna do anyways. Today I had to start out um, with figuring out what word I wanted to add to my design. Um, because like if you saw like the design like original like design like i'm looking at it has like a word in hindi i don't know what it is i can't read hindi but um i wanted some word that could be like meaningful not something basic like love or peace that you can find printed on like any piece of clothing nowadays you know um i wanted something to be meaningful i wanted it to like have like special resonance with me too um and i wanted it also in my home language in tamil now this is actually difficult because uh with words in tamil sometimes like you can have like characters like written out exactly the way it's pronounced but sometimes like the characters are not exactly pronounced as how like the whole word is pronounced um for example my name is sneha but if you spell it out it's like chi neha okay but you won't say chneha like you say sneha you know i wanted something that will say sneha or and have it like written looking like sneha as well if that makes sense with you um so Tamil was a little bit more difficult, um, and so I decided to just stick with Hindi. Um, my mom knows Hindi as well, so she helped me out with this, and I found a word. So, we gonna try to stitch it out on the jacket and then paint it over, and just see how this goes, you know. The word I decided to choose is Tripura. Um, and this technically means three cities. Now, Hindu mythology says that um, this great asura or beast named Mayasura built three cities made of iron, silver, and gold. And they were located on the earth, in the sky, and in heaven, respectively. Um, and it is interesting because that is what we refer to as the three worlds, you know, compared to how others say heaven, hell, and earth, we would say earth, sky, and heaven. Um, so that is uh, why I chose this word, you know, I don't know, it seemed really cool to me. Now, before y'all start saying, oh, Snake, how did he make this nice time lapse, yo? Bro, 
I am not a professional YouTuber. I had my phone balanced on a shoebox on top of a tripod. I don't know how I did it, but my phone never fell once, so bless. So let me tell y'all a funny story, okay? Every time I added a new color onto this jacket, I would literally scream to myself, commit, before I just jabbed that paintbrush onto the canvas. And I was just so scared of messing up, but eventually I just realized like it was all in my head, you know, I just had to go with the flow. Alright y'all, it is 1.30 in the morning, day 3 is done, and I am actually officially done with this jacket, so I'm gonna go to bed, let this dry, and then do the finishing like stuff with this, you know, to set the paint on the jacket in the morning, so see ya on the other side. Day 4 so my grandma found this really cute patch from India a while ago so I just ironed that on in that little like tag square and ironed the jacket inside out to set the acrylic paint and boom this is my lookbook photo shoot whatever you want to call it with my jean jacket And here is that really cute Pinterest type uh, modeling. I had to do that for the jacket, y'all. So, after three days, I completed my side project of painting this denim jacket. Um, it looks really fire. I didn't expected to look this like bomb and like i'm kind of like happy because like i didn't know i can make something like that like oh my god okay i don't know i just i really didn't think it would come out that nice and it did so <sighs> super thankful for that um <laughs> if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up uh do subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming out and if you want me to do like more side projects or like i don't know projects whatever you want to call it like this or something or if you want me to try some different crafts or like art stuff whatever i don't know um comment down below and i'll definitely like consider it for sure you know um thank you guys for watching this uh until next time peace and love <laughs>